It's time to add sunlight into my Minecraft clone. The voxel game needs to perform shadows over objects occupying the sun. In my last video, I implemented color lighting into my Minecraft clone, but sunlight was a little bit difficult due to the lack of my understanding. Plus, I really had nowhere to start and I didn't really have any resources to read upon, so yeah. Some problems that I faced was the game crashing on the main thread and weird lighting artifacts rendering on the Voxa terrain. But luckily some helpful people in the Voxa community informed my understanding. The developer of Vintage Story gave me some helpful articles regarding Voxel sunlight propagations. And discussing with other developers from the Voxel game dev community who have a way much more better understanding than I. That being said, Voxel sunlight is much more simpler than I thought. I probably will write a full article regarding it, but for now I'll explain in a short concept. Plus, I probably overly complicated everything, which caused lots of pain, but at least I got it. To make this simple, when propagating voxel sunlight, we start at the topmost chunk for every column. Next, going down from the sky, only assigning light values of 15 until we hit solid voxels. A great example is the way Minecraft calculates voxel sunlight. You can see the light shining to the right with all values 15 and shade under the trees where values get smoothed out. The light makes its way through the caves but is darkened further since there are solid voxels above it. Here's the algorithm used to calculate voxel sunlight in my Minecraft clone. This method is evaluated for every chunk column in render distance from the player. It functions similarly to the block light propagation algorithm as combines of both, but performs a flood fill instead of voxel position placement. Moving on to the skylight propagation works exactly like the block light flood fill algorithm, but continues down if the air is the condition. Now here's a recording of the pain that I went through when creating my voxel sunlight propagation. Yeah, it was quite the challenge. Now we are testing out the sunlight propagation. Um, we actually have the chunks with sunlight on the surface, which is really good. Um, here's a cave, actually. We can use this as a good example. And we can see how the sunlight propagates within the cave. It makes dark spots. A great idea where the dark spots are going to be at when generating your world. Again, the sunlight propagation was very hard to implement. There are still some tweaks that I do need to make, uh, such as smoothing out the shadows and the shadow propagation on borders would not propagate correctly, but I think that might be an easy fix. But this right here, I'm really, really glad this is implemented because sunlight in caves makes this a whole different perspective. As you can see, when I place the light blocks, this does not affect the sunlight. Even when I place it in direct sunlight, it does not affect anything, which is really good. So after when I got the sunlight propagation to work pretty good, as you can see right here, I can break and place foxes pretty well uh, with a new Q system. I found this uh, issue when it comes to the lighting. Uh, as you can see, it looks normal, but when I place a block, it does this which is kind of annoying um, because it goes back and then it clears out the chunk to be dark again. Uh, I think this has to do with the directional uh, block propagation. And as you can see, when I cross a chunk boundary, it reloaded the chunk, uh, but these are all like in one chunk. So I happen to be playing around with the lighting. Uh, it turns out, I guess the glitch on the side of the borders of the chunk was caused by my incorrect positioning of the voxel chunks. Um, you can see there is a problem level of detail worlds like this, but maybe not with like the stretch mesh way how everything's looking with these faces. This is quite interesting. Uh, very fascinating how everything is looking like this. Another thing to note is that the terrain generation is very slow. Uh, when it comes to the sunlight propagation, but yeah, I think this is looking really good All right, so the chunks are loading in a little bit faster than before and as you can see the lights are very smoothed out as you can see it leaks out where the Sun is at and this is how it should be so that means the Problem with the borders of the chunk are not happening no more now implementing shadows in our Minecraft clone is very simple all we need to do is remove the sunlight values under the blocks intersecting the ray from the sky. The shadow propagations only begin at the voxel position last update. 
It will perform a breadth first search, checking all adjacent voxels for sunlight values less than 15. Copy down will only happen if the sunlight condition is 15 for the current voxel, and if it's not opaque. Therefore, when we start building voxels intersecting the sunlight path, we should get a faint shadow under the overhang. Next, I wanted to add a day and night cycle, at least the starting point of it. Right now, it's pretty straightforward. I will have a skybox in the future, but right now we can be able to cycle through day and night, which as you can see, when I press a button on my keyboard, the light turns off. And if I hold it down, the sunlight values as like the sun rising in the morning goes up and the terrain gets brighter in a loop and it will get to the brightest point and then it'll just go back to darkness I made some improvements to color lighting in the voxel game. The game now supports all RGB values for creativity. In the near future, I will smooth out those values using linear interpolation. Right now, I'm glad they are finally in the game. With that out of the way, it's time to showcase some textures from our community. Big thanks to Cube Uncertainty and Adversary for improving on the game's textures and lore ideas. Here's a quick showcase of the dirt and stone textures. I think they look very unique and which is huge for making the voxel game stand out. Good job, everyone. Now, if you want to join our Discord community, I will have a link in the description. Other than that, I plan on adding a texture pack loader in the near future. But for now, here's my previous voxel engine devlog. Have a good one, everyone.